Imagine a machine that can dominate the battlefield, offering unmatched protection, speed, and firepower. What if I told you there's a vehicle out there that not only keeps soldiers safe, but also has the versatility to handle any mission thrown its way? Whether it's moving through rough terrain or storming through a water barrier, this vehicle can do it all. Welcome to the world of the Pander 2, a modern marvel in military technology. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into why the Pander 2 is much more than just an armored vehicle, it's a game changer for modern warfare. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll understand why it's gaining attention across the globe. Stick around because the Pander 2 is about to take you on a wild ride into the future of armored combat. The Pander 2 is more than just an upgrade to its predecessor, the Pander I. It is the next step in battlefield mobility and protection, designed to meet the complex demands of modern warfare. While the original Pander served admirably, the Pander II pushes the limits of what a wheeled armored vehicle can achieve. One of the first things you notice about the Pander II is its impressive modularity. Unlike other armored vehicles, it can be tailored to meet the specific needs of the military force using it. Need a gun carrier? It's got you covered. Looking for a recovery vehicle or a command and control? C2 platform. The Pander II can be adapted for those roles as well. This flexibility makes it an invaluable asset on any battlefield. With the Pander II, you can choose between a 6x6 or an 8x8 configuration. The 8x8 model is particularly striking, with an extended hull that provides more internal space and an additional axle for increased mobility. This extra space can be crucial in combat situations where troops and equipment need to be transported quickly and efficiently. The vehicle's design is sleek but effective. Its low-profile, angled armor, and large run-flat wheels make it a difficult target to hit, while its sloped glassy plate offers added protection. In military terms, this combination is gold, stealthy enough to avoid detection yet armored enough to withstand enemy fire. The Pander II can also be outfitted with a variety of weapon systems. Imagine a turret on top, mounted with a 30mm autocannon, capable of laying down serious firepower. For those situations where more firepower is needed, an upgraded turret can house a 105mm cockerel gun, turning the Pander II into a formidable tank killer. Anti-infantry operations? No problem. The Pander II can be equipped with traditional machine guns like the 7.62mm or the 12.7mm Browning HMG, both of which are proven to be effective against enemy troops. This makes it a versatile vehicle for different mission types, from urban combat to open battlefield engagements. But that's not all. The Pander II's anti-tank capabilities are what make it stand out. It can be armed with ATGMs, anti-tank guided missiles, such as the American TOW-2 or the Israeli Spike LR. These missiles give the vehicle the ability to engage and destroy enemy tanks from a distance, making the Pander II a deadly threat to armored forces. What really sets the Pander II apart from other armored vehicles is its amphibious capability. In modern warfare, terrain can often be a barrier, but not for the Pander II. Whether it's crossing rivers or fording other water obstacles, this vehicle moves through water with ease, using propeller jets to maintain speed. The engine powering the Pander II is just as impressive. A turbocharged, liquid-cooled, six-cylinder diesel engine allows the vehicle to reach speeds of up to 105 km per hour on land, while offering an operational range of up to 700 km. This means it can cover vast distances without the need for constant refueling, an essential feature in long missions. Troops can access the Pander II through the powered rear door or through roof-mounted hatches. This design ensures quick and easy entry and exit, which can be the difference between life and death in combat scenarios. Imagine being in a firefight and needing to deploy troops quickly, the Pander II's design has your back. One of the countries that has fully embraced the Pander II is Portugal. They use it in a variety of roles, from infantry carriers to medical evacuation, medevac vehicles. The Portuguese army knows that having a single vehicle capable of performing multiple tasks is invaluable. It reduces logistical strain and improves operational efficiency. Similarly, the Czech army has invested heavily in the Pander II, deploying it in many different roles, including combat operations in Afghanistan. The rugged terrain of Afghanistan was a true test for the Pander II, and it passed with flying colors, proving that it can handle even the harshest environments. A notable version of the Pander II is the KOV Kurpan, which was developed for the Slovenian army. Although Slovenia ultimately chose another vehicle, the Kurpan was designed to be partly manufactured within Slovenia itself, demonstrating the Pander II's adaptability to different countries' production needs. 
One of the Pander Tus competitors in the global market is the Finnish Patria AMV. While both vehicles have their strengths, the Pander II stands out for its balance of firepower, speed, and adaptability. It's this balance that has won over several militaries around the world, ensuring its continued presence on battlefields for years to come. In 2023, the Pander II continues to be adopted by militaries across the globe, including Austria, Indonesia, and Portugal. One of its latest customers is the Philippine Army, which has selected the 8x8 version to serve as the Sabre Light Tank, incorporating advanced Israeli Elbit Systems electronics and weapons. This demonstrates how the Pander II is evolving with new technologies to meet the needs of modern armed forces. The Pander II's combination of mobility, firepower, and protection makes it an asset in any military operation. Whether it's being used to transport troops, engage enemy tanks, or support infantry in urban combat, this vehicle can do it all. It's easy to see why the Pander II has become a favorite among militaries. Its ability to adapt to different roles means that it can serve a wide variety of missions, from peacekeeping operations to full-scale warfare. The Pander II also represents a shift in modern armored vehicle design, where modularity and flexibility are key. Gone are the days when a vehicle could only serve one role. Today, militaries need vehicles that can be adapted on the fly, and the Pander II delivers on that need. So whether it's moving swiftly across the battlefield, engaging enemy tanks from a distance, or transporting troops through rough terrain, the Pander II proves time and again that it's more than just a vehicle, it's a force multiplier. And that's the story of the Pander II, a vehicle that's rewriting the rules of modern warfare. Its versatility, firepower, and amphibious capabilities make it one of the most sought-after armored vehicles in the world. Now that you've learned about what makes the Pander II so unique, it's your turn to act. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content about the latest in military technology. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think is the most impressive feature of the Pander 2? We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more exciting videos, and thanks for watching.